Hello everyone! Welcome to our tutorial on installing Ubuntu on a Windows machine using VirtualBox. Today I'll walk you through the steps and I explain why using VirtualBox is a convenient option. Why do you need a virtual machine to install Linux on Windows? Every machine can have only one operational system installed on it. To use Linux on a Windows machine, you need to install a virtual machine that will imitate a separate computer. A popular virtual machine is Oracle VirtualBox. By the way, you may sometimes hear people calling a virtual machine a hypervisor. It is basically the same thing. How to install Linux on a VirtualBox? What we are going to need is the following. A Windows machine, virtual box downloaded from the official website, an ISO file of Ubuntu, which you can get from the Ubuntu website. By the way, if you haven't heard of Ubuntu yet, it is just one of the most popular Linux distributions. It is open source and available for free, so we will use it as an example. Let's start by installing virtual box. Step 1. Open your browser, go to the VirtualBox website. Step 2. Click Download. Choose the latest version for Windows. Once downloaded, run the installer. Just follow the on-screen prompts and VirtualBox will be installed in no time. Now let's create a new virtual machine. Open your newly installed VirtualBox and click on New in the upper menu. Give your virtual machine a name, select Linux as the type and use Ubuntu as the version. Next, allocate memory. A minimum of 2 GB is recommended, but more is better if your machine can handle it, of course. Click Next. Now you will need to create a virtual hard disk. Choose Create a virtual hard disk now. Set the size to at least 20 GB and click Next. Then you see the summary of your configuration. You can click Finish. Once your virtual machine is set up, it is a good moment to go to the Ubuntu website to download the ISO file. Then in your virtual box, click on Settings for the Ubuntu VM. Go to Storage, click on Empty under the Controller IDE and then click on the disk icon on the right. Select Choose a disk file and find your downloaded Ubuntu ISO file. Click OK. Now it's time to start your virtual machine. Right click your Ubuntu machine, click Start and Ubuntu will boot from the ISO. Follow the on-screen instructions to install Ubuntu. Once the installation is complete, you can restart your virtual machine. And there you have it. You've successfully installed Ubuntu on your Windows machine using VirtualBox. This method gives you the flexibility to explore, learn and develop in a safe environment. I hope you found this tutorial useful. As always, feel free to leave any feedback and see you in the next one.